Ice, Gwendolyn, Village, and Boat. The synergy with this strategy is absolutely absurd, and today I'm gonna show it off to you guys. Let's get it. All right, here we go, guys. We are against Mr. Rose here, or Mrs. Rose, rather, on the map Star, and looks like they're starting with their Druid right there. I am going a really fun strategy today, guys, which I'm super excited about because I've never used on the channel before, which is Boat, Ice, and Village. And today I'm gonna tell you why I think the strategy might be good on a map like Star. So basically you have Boat, which is going to be like my early game defense, obviously. I'll have Boat farming as well, which is I'll be making really good use of because there's a lot of there's a lot of Boat space on this map, which is super good. And um, with Boat, I have Ice. Ice is going to help me out a lot for round 13 rushes with the Embrittlement. It'll help me out for more rushes because it doubles the projectile damage. And late game, you have the Super Brittle and Icicle and Pale, which are going to be essential for my defense. And lastly, we have Village. Village is phenomenal because it has the homeland defense the jungle drums all the shebang there homeland defense and jungle drums should help me out against the biggest weakness in the strategy i think would be probably the all out um zmg rush because those are really difficult against for a lot of eco strategies to defend especially if you don't have like the towers that most people use to defend all out zmg rushes are what's it called ninja druid ace um bomb those are like the ones that come to mind for defending all ZMG rushes. None, this strategy has none of them. But the thing about Homeland Defense is it doubles the attack speed and pierce of all your towers. And pierce is very important for defending those types of rushes because obviously there's so many BFBs, Moabs, Ceramics that are coming out that high pierce is very important. I think Homeland Defense will allow me to hopefully defend that stuff. But we'll see. Are, they might actually be going like a normal Druid strategy here because they went for a double Druid start, which is interesting. Normally I expect Druid sub farm here, you know what I'm saying? But could actually just be like a normal druid strategy that we used to see back in the day like druid sub ice druid sub ninja that type of stuff so that actually would be quite interesting if they have that here that'd be quite interesting my mr rose or mrs rose i don't know why i keep saying mr rose it's it should be mrs yeah that's, I, I i need to fix that i need to fix that okay let's get um a second one with longer range if i can greed for a what's it called uh, 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 uh merchantman without going for okay i can't to say maybe i get a chance to greet for a merchantman without going for a uh, cannon ship first but i don't think that's gonna happen let's get something close let's throw it on one of those real quick clear out some of those balloons for me yeah i think prioritizing eco here quite a bit is gonna be good for me and then we'll um go for merchantman later i think that's the route people normally take with boat and their loadout i feel like our late game with the strategy is gonna be really good though so i'm excited for it just like there's so much boat space in this map which is like this is the map if i were to think of a map to use the strategy on this would be the map you know what i'm saying this would be the map okay looks like they got their druid leaks in they got their lightning druid up so they're good they're good well done well done all right hopefully we can get my okay i can't get that round i don't know dude but i go for the i guess i go for the eco here i want to get my merchantman up but i feel like i want to get eco as well i'm in, I'm in a predicament at the moment guys i'm in a predicament i guess we'll get this merchantman up a little bit later then continue ecoing throughout this round Maybe around eight merchantmen, it's fine. Yeah, we'll go around eight for the merchantmen here. So, two income boosts, basically. On, there we go, perfect. Round eight's actually longer than I thought it would be, so we kind of messed up a little bit there, but it's all right. Press in some zebras. Get my ice tower down right about here for my embrittlement later. Okay, they got spike factory. Very interesting, Rose, very, very interesting. So it's probably druid sub spack then. Even with druid sub spack though, I feel like going for an early spike factory is not the move because I feel like you just go for submarine defense around 13 and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Felix, like factory early. Oh, wait, no. Druid ice? What the heck? Ooh. I might have to watch out. This could be a really strong late game strategy. I might have to watch out here. I feel like we need, a, we need to send them a little something. A little something or something, something. Balloon boost. Okay, that, that rush was actually just an absolute waste of money. Absolute waste of money. Okay. All right. Good. All right, I need to get up a, um, what's it called, embrittlement. Well, actually, if they're not gonna force me to get up an embrittlement, I'm not gonna get up an embrittlement. That's how greedy I am right now, guys. That's how greedy I am. I'm trying to get squeeze every little scent I can get out of this game. So let's get up another merchantman here, because I am greedy, like I said. I'm just chilling with an ice shards at the moment, which ice shards in this game literally does nothing. So, yeah. Okay, I might, I might actually, I might actually get up an embrittlement, because I feel like I might eventually die to their eco balloons if I don't. Yeah, let's just let's just do it here. Let's just do it, bro. What uh, what can I rush them with with their strategy? I don't know. I feel like we might honestly get out late gamed, even though my strategy is made to be a late game strategy as well. But we have village though. We do have village, which I feel like village is gonna be really good here. Uh, let's not count ourselves out. Let's not count ourselves out here. You know what I'm saying? But super brittle with tech with um spike storm spam. I feel like it's really strong as well. 
So we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see how this goes. But yeah, this is an interesting strategy that they have. Defending the UMG probably will be kind of difficult for them. So we might aggro some stuff like that. Also, I should not be pink ecoing, I'm pretty sure. I should just be yellow ecoing and building up uh, merchantman farms here. Because I want to get a full trade. I want to get a full trade empire thing going eventually. You know what I'm saying? Are they actually aggroing at me? No, they, they didn't. They stopped ecoing for a second. I thought they might be sending me some Moabs or something. I'm gonna prepare. All right, let's keep merchantman farming. I will have the money advantage, which is nice. Actually, no, I might don't. I was gonna say they don't have old eco, but I forgot they have druid, and druid is old eco. Okay. So they actually might have. They'll have su sufficient money. They came as well because they have an old eco. Well then, I don't really know what to do here. <laughs> We're in a bit of a predicament, guys. I never saw this strategy before, and I feel like it's going to be pretty strong against us. And the thing is, I can't send the Moabs right now, because that bike factory literally needs so many fortified Moabs, it's not even funny. Plus, if I send them like a ton of fortified Moabs, then they just upgrade to trees as well, and then they're absolutely good. I really just have to wait for ZMGs at this point, which is kind of unfortunate, but it is how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Another favorite trade. The favorite trades is better. Like for its price than the merchantman, but the thing about it is, um, you can scale merchantman faster, obviously, since like I don't have to wait to save up to 5.4k to get another favorite trades down. You know what I mean? Like that. So that's kind of why we're mixing it right now. Why we're mixing it a little bit here. They got their druid farms whirling now. All right, let's um continue econ. Let's go white balloons here. Hopefully soon I can get my trade empire up. Oh, they've actually stopped econ for a second. They're sending me a BFB. Honestly, I think we just defend the BFB. As crazy as it sounds. We'll get up a trade empire here soon, and the trade empire is going to buff all my stuff. I think we just straight up defend. We might get um, grape shot on some of these as well. We're good. Calculated. Cal not even close. Not even close. I did not leak at all. That was a calculated defend, guys. Calculated defend. Okay. We're good. Not even. I wasn't worried at all there, to be honest. I was not worried one bit. Also, I need to send them a ZOMG balloon. What am I waiting on? Yeah, we should have sent that earlier. Oh well. We got it out at least. I don't know how many merchantmen I have. I think it's like 11 or something, but I can't really tell. So, we're just gonna keep spamming them. 13, 14, 17. Okay, yeah, we've got forced a whole popless army. Does that defend though? They're gonna throw so much against insides. I feel like this guy's underestimating a ZMG right now. I don't want them to die here. I just wanted to force a ton of defense, you know what I mean? But they're gonna have to spike storm micro like crazy or something here. Dude, please don't die. Please don't die. You're gonna ruin the content if you die. Spike storm. No way. That actually defends. What? Dude, that spike balls in the tree just literally ate everything. That's crazy. Wow. I was completely wrong. I thought they would like. Well, I am the dummy here, I think. Is what we've concluded. That's actually nuts that that defended. That's actually nuts. Okay. Well done, though. Well done. You know, you gotta respect the defend. You gotta respect the defend. Did he not boost that as well? I don't think I saw them boost, which was also crazy. Alright. We got our whole army of stuff going here. We're vibing on my side. They're vibing on their side. Don't really know how I'm gonna win this game, but we'll see. Keeping up favorite trades. I can fit a boat right there, which is nice. If they send me DTs this round, I get an impale. Doesn't appear like they're interested. We'll just keep spamming favorite trades at the moment. I guess I could have gone for a um, increased eco village as well. I don't know if that would have been worth. I feel like going for favorite trades with that money is better spent though. Carrier flagship here. Yeah, we'll go for a village now. Right about. Go for the village right here. We'll get primary mentoring to increase the range on this embrittlement, which I'm gonna get. All right. We should stop ecoing, we should stop ecoing. Let's upgrade all these to Grave Shot real quick. With this ice tower in the back, we can now get it to, um, what's that? Called? Nope, I don't want that path. I want middle path and an icicle impale. There we go, perfect. So pretty much all my defense is set up right now, except the fact that I have, um, I need to spam carrier flagships and stuff, which is actually gonna be kind of difficult here. So let's prepare that, I guess. What I'll do is I'll make a um, village on the water, if I can even fit it. Hello. All right. Cool. Dude, I don't know when to rush this guy. I really don't. I'm nervous. The thing is, I need to get my defense down, which is all these carry flagships and stuff. But the problem about it is that the problem about it is that I need to sell my farms to do that because it's the same space. You know what I'm saying? 
Everything's the same space there. I have so much money in hand right now, though. Start slowly selling off, I guess. Three hundred thousand dollars. I guess I I still have five point five k equal to rely on, though. You, like I can't forget about that. Five point five k equals a lot, so I can sell some of these. I'm still making solid money. You know what I'm saying? The recording's still going. Okay, awesome, awesome. If I lost the recording on this, I'd be pissed. Okay, sending me a ZMG. Not a ZMG, a BAD balloon. We're not gonna boost or anything on this one. I think we just defend this one without booster, without homeland. Yeah, we defend this one pretty easily. Oh, they've actually, okay, this is actually great. Look, they've gone for the middle path, fifth tier druid. If they start regening lives here, then I can rush them and they lose their speed buff. Ooh. So hopefully they actually regenerate some lives here first. And then my rush is gonna be so much more effective. I think I'm gonna wait to around 38 to start sending. This game's actually lagging so hard. I think I'm lagging the game with my um my aircraft carriers a little bit. Oh well. Oh wait, never mind. That was just the Oban that looked like it. They have now gone for the Spirit of the Forest, I see. I thought the Oban was the Spirit of the Forest. I'm such an idiot. Okay. Never uh, either way. But by the way, guys, if you're still watching at this point, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below because this is about to get epic. And yeah, I would really do appreciate that. And hit the like button as well. See if you get a thousand likes in today's video. That would mean a lot to me. I really would. Alright. But let's start sending, I guess. Well, one more income boost. I want to do it right after an income boost because BD's hurt your eco, so that just makes sense to me. Okay, he's going to shred these early ones. He's absolutely going to shred, which is going to be kind of disheartening, but I can I have so much money to just keep sending, so we're just going to do that. We're going to do that. Actually, he's not even popping it that fast. He doesn't have that many spike storms down, is the thing. They're, they barely have any spike storms down. Which is not good for them. Yeah, you can see they're starting to upgrade the ones on the on the what's called water now. Okay, they've popped the first one. Well done. Maybe I started sending a little bit too early. I have lots of selling power on my boats though. If he doesn't counter. That's balloon boost. Oh, the BD is actually pushing really hard. They need a boost. They need a boost. They have the perma spike in the back though. Perma spike, yeah, perma spike actually breaks that down pretty well. Okay, they boosted. I think we, after their boost wears off, we basically go all in, I think's the plan, because then they won't have boost, and that's very important. Dude, these BDs are actually pushing so hard. They're pushing harder than I thought. They just don't have spike storms down. Let's sell some of my towers. Come on. They're dead. They're dead. They're dead. No way. What? Did they really just clutch that? Did that really just happen? They're dead. GG's. Wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and move forward. I'm like, oh, peace, lads.